and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma. Stick around for hauls and vlogs and welcome to summer vlogs. And this is going to be a pack with me. It's going to take a couple of days. Today I'm going to look nice whilst I'm packing tomorrow. I will probably be doing it in my pyjamas because tomorrow, I don't know if any of you out there, if you ever book a day where we're like, we're just not going to leave the house and we're just going to get stuff done. So tomorrow is going to be a cleaning the house from top to bottom, finish off in, finishing off the packing kind of day. We are off on a week away, um, non-Disney, like just a nice, fun, summer, sunny holiday and we haven't done one of those for, I think... I want to say four years where it's just been a kind of do nothing, lays around the pool kind of holiday. We were supposed to go last October, but we couldn't because my dad was poorly, but thankfully, as most of you will know, he's much better now. I took on board what a lot of you have said and what I thought in my head, and I actually worked with my girl yesterday and we packed together. We sat down, we packed together, I showed her how I roll up the stuff to put in the packing cubes, and then for the next trip we go on, um, there is one plan towards the end of the year. I'm going to give her a list of stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to be like, right, you need to pack seven tops. Seven this, seven that. Make sure you've got your bobbles. Make sure you've got your, you know, we, that's what we call scrunchies, like bobbles. Make sure you've got all that. So I'm going to make like a list that I can just print off and give to her. Uh, so hopefully she will be starting to pack for herself. And I just think that, one, it's really good because um, it makes it independent. Two less for me to do <laughs> three uh it means that she has got the outfits that she definitely wants to wear and there's no on the last trip to florida there was a couple of things i took which i thought she would love but when i got them out the case she was like no i don't want to wear that so we should hopefully stop that however i still have to pack for me i still have to pack for my little boy so today we're going to do my little boy i will show you how i've organized it so far so i like to take kind of pretty much 14 outfits because we have i'll have like seven day outfits which is just be like sh shorts and a t-shirt that he can get wrecked there's probably going to be a kids club so he can play football or if he you know whatever and then i have outfits for if we go for meals in the night time or if there's a disco i just like to have some kind of smarter looking outfits so that's what we've done each outfit during the day has some underwear and I take a couple of spare pairs because as you know even I take a couple of spare pairs as an adult pairs of pants because you're like but I don't know what we all think is going to happen but let me know in the comments if you always pack one or two more pairs than you need and don't forget a few years ago I completely forgot to pack any pants myself and I had to go and buy some and that is not the first time it has happened with underwear and socks and stuff there's often been holidays where I've had to find an asda let's go do an asda and get some socks so i'll show you what i've done so far and then i'll show you my packing cubes um let me on my office or the office, closet office as some of you call it it's looking desperate this is how i've been organizing stuff that is how i've been organizing my own stuff aka throw it over a rail not even hang it on the rail. Emma, you've gone past the point of care and of hanging it. It's throwing it. I've got two beach dresses hanging up. They don't even need to be hung up. And then these two bags here. One is uh, stuff I... Because you know I like to collect stuff over months, don't I? So we've got like suntan lotions and bits and bobs to go in the toiletries, which we will do tomorrow. Um, that is that purple one there. It looks like it's got some stuff in, which is good. So there will definitely be some stuff to take. And then this bag needs to go back over there because this is a bag full of summer holiday activities. We've got the chalk from the Poundland Hall, the micro gardens, bubbles. So that needs to be moved over there. That big pile over there is stuff where I've been collating school uniform. That'll be a whole other video for a different day where I'll be labelling stuff and working out what's what. So that's... A, that's that's going to live there and we're going to we're going to actually pretend that is invisible. You see that pile there? There's nothing there is there. There's just lovely white drawers. We we started our scrapbooks yesterday, um, which you might have seen on my Instagram. Um, go and check that out. I'll be doing lots of Insta stories over there um, throughout the whole of the summer. And my daughter on her um, the front of her, what do you want to do this summer? She's like, I want to um, go and get some stationery. And I thought, oh, and I was like, we can go and do a stationery. 
So that is definitely going to be a thing that we're going to do. Secondary school stationery. And I might even upgrade it to paper chase. She will be back to your poundland and your home bargains. But I thought secondary school, first year, year seven, might go to paper chase. I'll also do a poundland one. I'm going to maybe try and fit a Costco one in as well. And also this video will be my last one for probably, probably a week. Um, because I think the Wi-Fi where we're going is not very good and the last thing I want to have to do is stress the whole family trying to hotspot a phone. I've been there, I've done that. When I used to do Vlogust, there was many a time in a caravan I'd be like standing on one leg with an arm out of a, a window trying to hotspot a phone so I don't really want to do that. So there will be vlogs but it'll be, you're just going to have to wait a week. Right, let's get all this stuff packed in my packing cubes. I get asked loads about the best type for packing cubes to use. Literally go into um, Amazon and just type in packing cubes. There's all sort of patterns. Um, the boys, well, my boy will have the dark blue one. My girl's got pale blue. I got these uh, for Disney. This is my pattern here. Stephen is yet to get on the packing cube. Train? Roller coaster? I don't know what the phrase would be. Uh, maybe we need to coerce him. Um, maybe I should just go for Valentine's Day. Surprise, I bought you some packing cubes. So they're mine. Um, my girls are all packed, ready in her bedroom. So I'm going to get all of this. So you'll see each outfit is packed. We've got day stuff. We've got night stuff. We've got trunks. We've got flip-flops. We've got sunglasses, spare socks, spare underwear. So all of this will fit into these. Um, I need to make sure he's also got a hat. My girl's actually going to wear her hat on the plane, so I might get him to do that as well. But let's see if we can get all of this into these. One, two, three, go! Ta-da! Oh, I've got to turn my, my podcast has started up again. I've got to turn my podcast off. Ta-da! So there we go. There are a couple of um, bits of bobs that I still need to put in. This one, um, this one's quite empty. I was also, if I've got time, I might see this kind of, this is like half of a suitcase with some room for some shoes. And um, I was also, I might take a um, pop-up laundry basket. I say that every every time I go on holiday, I will say, let's take a pop-up laundry basket. But I might do. Stephen's actually popping out tomorrow with the kids. And he's going to Poundland. And we, my parents have the pets. So my mother-in-law has Margot. And then my um, parents have the rat and the hamster so we have to go to, out tomorrow and make sure they've got everything they could possibly need treats food um bedding so i might see if steven can uh, i think my top's undone <laughs> i might see if steven will see a, a pop-up um just a cheap one just like a cheap pop-up laundry basket that we can just shove in the room and just pop the laundry in i could take one for whites and one for colours is that a bit much? Is that a bit much? Am I taking it a bit far? You can tell me, am I taking it a bit far? But I just feel that'd be quite good and then we can just squash it down again. So my boys have done, and you know, lucky for you, I've got a bit of time before we go so we can do the toiletries together. Oh, don't say I never treat you to anything. This is a bag from Amazon if you've been following me for a while. You will have seen this a million times. I've not looked into it since we left Florida. So I'm intrigued to see what we've got. Um, it's really good because when you get on holiday you can just hang it off like a hook in the bathroom like that that's what I tend to do so I'm going to go through see what we need see what we can take out um, oh my gosh where do they even come from there's all sorts of bits and bobs in here see what we can take with us again make sure everything's in date like the cow pollen stuff but it should be and then I'll start to restock it Okay, good news. We've got stuff that we can reuse. So, stuff I always like to have in my toiletries bag um, when you go on holiday. And obviously, we can get to a chemist when we're there. It's not an issue. But these are good things to have just in the interim until you get to a chemist, if that makes sense. So, I've got plasters. I've got some um, cowpole. Uh, these sachets are great. But if you've got bigger kids, this really, I think this is kind of like what... Do they need four? It's something bananas. Uh, yeah, so this would be just one kind of two lots that would tide you over till you get to chemist. Some paracetamol. 
with some Advil, which must, we must have got in America. I also like to make sure we have nail, nail files or nail clippers because in case somebody breaks a nail or bobbles. And then I also like to put in some earplugs in because Stephen snores sometimes when we go to new places. And a little pillow spray because I like, I like to be really like settled. It takes me quite a while to get to sleep in a new place. Um, also, some of the stuff that we took to Florida and brought back we can take again. So I've just got an SPF 30 for the day. I might... I got another one, um, which is like an anti-spotting, age-spotting age one somewhere, so I might put that one instead. Heat protector for my hair, uh, an SPS for my lips, and a little serum. So I'm going to put pop those in and then look in my bag of goodies and see what else I can put in. This is the one I was sent talking about. I was actually sent this. I've been using... What was I sent to? I think I've been using like an anti-aging one from there. So I'm going to pop that in. Um, what's this one? Oh, the makeup. Ooh, I'll have. I'll read at that one. Uh, for the kids, I've got the classic P20. Really good. You can put it on all day. Um, I got this on offer in Boots, but they often do this on offer in Costco. But I think they only had Factor 30, so I've gone for the 50 because we like. I'm also. Um, thanks so many of you for telling me where I can get like some vests and stuff from. I've got it from. Uh, Sainsbury's, I've got to go and pick it up tomorrow. I got this, and I'm going to let you know how I get on with it, probably on my Insta stories, because I've never, ever, I get a really, really incredibly bad burnt scalp, like, the worst, because I'm so pale. I am going to take a hat, I'm going to take a baseball cap this time, but I also thought this would be quite good um, for around the pool, so I'm going to put that on my head. And then Stephen likes these sprays, um, so... I've got him another one of them. I've also popped in some uh, family shower gel, family shampoo. We're all going with marshmallow. I don't care if you're a 40 year old, six foot two man. You're going to smell of marshmallow this holiday. Our favourite shampoo, which is just a red Elvive one. Um, some micella. <laughs> You'll be like, Emma, this is the eighth year of you pronouncing that wrong. So I'm actually going to stop here now and then I'm going to come back to you tomorrow because I'm going to have some lunch and we're going to go out. Um, we're taking the dog for a nice National Trust afternoon out because um, she actually woke up in the middle of the night last night, which was very rare. So I feel like she needs a good bit of exercise today. You can hear she's in the garden at the moment. You can hear even go treat time to try and get back in. So we're going to take her out for a nice afternoon. So I will come back either later or probably tomorrow. And tomorrow I will not. Let's embrace it. It'll be hair scraped back. You know when she's got her hair scraped back, your gal is ready for action. So, uh, see you in a bit. You're like, Emma, we thought you'd gone. <laughs> you, thought, you said you'd come back tomorrow. Well, I went out, took um, the kids out, one of her little friends, to a National Trust, and then came back. And I was just watching a quiz with Stephen and Ethan whilst everyone was on the phone to somebody, and I thought, I'm panicking. <laughs> I started to, like, panic. So I've decided to come and finish the toiletry so I can make a list for Stephen to get a few bits and bobs. Ah! No, are you going to go a bit lighter if you're here? Yeah, you are. Adjusted. So I've got the toiletries bag pretty much filled up. I'm going to make a list now whilst I think of it what we need. Um... um so, Stephen, so he'll have it on his phone when he goes to the shop tomorrow. I need, need a small face wash. I've got toner. Because if you are new here, I love miniatures and I collect miniatures. So I've got a toner. I've got moisturiser. I've got serum. Um, I've got micella, micella um, stuff to get rid of my eye makeup. I've got a hair one. I need a shaving gel which we will probably share to be honest small face wash shaving gel i've got this little moisturizer i am not sure if we need an after sun just in case and then i think i'm just going to put some toothbrushes in because i've got toothbrushes over there then i think we're all right if we can get the, this stuff so i'll put, I'll put a please i'll put a please small wash and then I need to send him a list of the stuff he needs to get for the hamsters. So that's pretty much done. Let me get the toothbrushes 
and then we'll put them in and then ugh. I don't know I just had a, I just had like a little a teeny tiny little panic so I'm gonna put the toothbrushes in and then look at me look at my suntan lotion collection it's out of control so suntan lotion I am going for 15 for Stephen towards the end of the holiday we won't have that 30 for Stephen, 50 um, for the kids and I I think I probably need to get um, I've got another factor 50 in my room that I've been using because if this is for kids I probably need to take my factor 50 as well this is like a roll on one from Aldi and I thought this would be really good to put on their faces um, because this is quite strong I've got this for our scalps and I will be taking a hat and then for my face, I'm going to use this um, Factor 50, the anti-aging spots one. And I am going to try and use this one day. I don't tend to wear makeup anyway if I'm going out, really. Um, during On holiday, I just like to keep my skin fresh and free. Uh, but if I do, maybe we've gone a little day trip, I'll, I'll try that just to show you what it's like really yeah those were gifted though but i'll let you know how i get on and also whilst i was doing all of this focus i found this so that can go in there that's going to be our um how you can take photos under the water i'm going to put an after sun in here as well and also this can be an overspill for some of stephen's toiletries so I'm feeling a little bit organised. I'm going to put away this stuff downstairs, which is where we keep all our suntan lotion. These can stay here for the rest of the summer. And then I've got some um, bits and bobs to put back in my miniatures and a spare one of these. I must have forgot one or broke one. Or I'm not entirely sure I bought that on holiday, but I did. So I'm going to pack those away and I feel a little bit more relieved. And now I really will come back tomorrow. I keep lying to you, I'm back again. <laughs> Can you tell I'm like really frazzled? Oh, we all know it took me months to pack for Disney and I'm doing this in like a couple of days. I don't know, there's going to be some of you who go, I pack the night before or I pack the morning after, good for you. I can't do that. Um, but also, this is another thing that I got from Amazon and I've shared this before, but I, the, the things they say, oh, is it on here? I love the little catchphrases. Wish you have a beautiful life. That is a catchphrase. I'm appreciative of and be unique be myself whenever I look at a plug container container be unique be myself that's what I think of <laughs> but here is a great thing that we have for holidays uh, it's a this is where we keep all of our plugs and chargers and I'm gonna have Stephen go through and take out the American ones uh, because I'm being a bit thick and I can't work out I like him to double check. Take out the American ones. Keep the European ones in here. I'll also put pugs like um, phones. Uh, what else? Tablets. All that good shenanigans. Um, I'm just laughing at the socks my mum bought me a few years ago. And say, hashtag own it. <laughs> what does that even mean? So I'm going to get him to do that. Um, but these are really great. It came in a pack of three. It was quite cheap. Was it a pack of two? No, it was a pack of three. Um, uh, but it just is super easy to um have all your charges in one place right i really am going now hello my beautiful friends your girl's got her hair up you know she means business oh. i went a bit dizzy then so we were up early this morning i've changed all the sheets i like my house to be clean before i go on holiday i don't know why but i do i like to come back to a nice clean house so change all the sheets steven took the kids out to go and get all the pet stuff um, and bits and bobs. Stephen's printed off all the documents for uh, to go on holiday. I don't know why my brain just went completely numb there. I've washed the kids' Crocs. I think I asked you, and some were saying you can wash them in the dishwasher. Some were saying you can't. So I just hand washed them. And whilst I was stood there scrubbing dirty Crocs. At the sink with my hand, I just said to Stephen, um, I hope the children remember me hand washing the crocs when they're older. I doubt they will. So I am just going to um, finish with you lot. I'm going to finish packing the kids stuff, show you that in the cases. Then I am going to show you what I pack in there on their hand luggage bags. 
the toiletry Stephen has gone to get some extra bits and bobs so I can put that in um, and then actually if you can see my clothes over there I think I'm going to pack my clothes maybe tomorrow because I might film a reel before I go I'm not sure I might film a bit of a video of the outfits I'm taking on holiday maybe I don't know so let's get the kids stuff done and um then I'll show you what I'm taking in their carry-ons they had a um, a little chat with him this morning. I was like, right, no telly on the plane. We don't have telly on planes for like, I think it's like, a, I can't even remember how, I don't even know how long it is, but there's no telly on the plane. So you need to make sure on your tablets you have downloaded some nice programs to watch. I have also just sent Stephen out to get me a Kindle. I do put love, I love books, but I feel like on this holiday there's going to be a lot of reading. So... I've sent Steve out to get me a Kindle. Right, let's finish the kids packing. Okay, so we have two of the medium American tourist to Disney um, cases and two of the large ones. We've had these for quite a few years. Sometimes the wheels do drop off. Um, I think you can get replacements. I am incredibly paranoid that I I'm going to lose a case and somebody's going to have no clothes, so I like to mix up people's clothes. <laughs> Um, so this is what it's looking like at the moment is the medium one there's rooms to shove um, a pair of crocs down there I'm gonna give each Erin's got like a trendy hat actually Erin's taking a couple of hats but I'm gonna put a um, Disney cruise hat in for around the pool or if they want to wear a hat in the pool so I think these are quite nice and they're quite uh, what would the word be um, swimming pool like so yeah, this is the large one, so you can see if you're using the packing cubes, how much that takes up. More than enough room there for, for some um, crocs. And right, let's go and pack their on-board, like carry-on, um, what the word would be, rucksacks. Okay, so you know I like to collect things um, and ready for, you know, situations like this. So we got sent some minion stuff, so I've put these kind of in these are like little blind bags we get a little charm and a keyring each kid has a packet of tissues each kiddo has um some handy wipes has a fidget pen thing which i just found in a drawer i had two of them how fortunate is that gets a little notepad and also gets some snacks these are reusable um i've lost the ability to speak because i feel so frazzled these are reusable Ziploc bags, yay! I got them from Lidl and I've put in um, a little pack of Jammy Dodgers, some ice gems, a little pack of sweeties, a cereal bar and a packet of crisps. You never know how long you're going to be in an airport for, you never know how long you're going to be in a plane for. When we went to Florida we were delayed two hours on the ground before we even left. So um, it's always good to have snacks to hand, they've both got the same. This is all my girls, this is all my boys. She has decided she wants to take her stitch bag that she got gifted from Shop Disney and I gave her on her last day of school. And my boy has decided to take his... Uh, he hasn't decided to take anything because he doesn't care. I have decided to pack his little mountain warehouse rucksack which is really, really, really good. Very cheap. Fab perfect. What else will go in there will be a set of headphones each. Erin's are white, Ethan's are black, so we don't have any... You've got my headphones, I've got your headphones discussions. They will have their tablet in as well. And I have decided that I am going to be the proud owner of the felt tips in my bag. Just because we have a bit of an issue. That whenever a child has... Oh, look, 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 peep the pumpkin, peep the pumpkin. Whenever a child has um, felt crayons... They drop them within three seconds. They drop them within three seconds of having them on the plane. So I'm going to be in charge and I'm going to dish them out so we don't lose them. They don't roll down the side of the seat. They don't get... <laughs> you think this kind of stuff stops when they're like five. It doesn't. It continues. So I'm going to pack their bags and also I would like to show you that I have their plane outfits ready to go. We are getting a flight at the most... In fact, whilst you're watching this, I'll be on a flight, hopefully... The earliest, silliest time, and we have to leave the house at like four o'clock in the morning. We don't know what we were thinking. So their outfits will be ready to go. They are comfy, they are cozy, they are virtually like pajamas. They've both got tracksuit bottoms, SpongeBob t-shirts. Erin's um, got a hat because I think she'll want to cover her face. 
they've both got little jackets comfy cozy snuggly throw them on chuck them in the car and groggily walk around an airport in them it just makes it really easy just to put their clothes on in the morning and on tuesday night i'll pop these in their bedrooms ready for wednesday morning i'm going to pop in hand sanitizers and maybe um some lip balms as well but i'll put that in my bag because we were finding when they were having them in the kids bag you know you have to put them in little plastic things to go through the airport um trying to find the hand sanitizer bag was just a pain so i think i'll have it all in my bag and then i can distribute that when we get on the other side so i think i might get to start getting my bag packed actually also um, I think we need masks on public transport in when we get to the other side. So we might have to have some on the um, the airport transfer. So I'll put those in my bag as well. I don't think we need them on the flight, but I will look into it. So I think I'll start to pack my carry-on and get that. I just don't know. I really, really struggle with knowing what to wear on a plane. Because I'm not the kind of um, person that would... I don't look good in tracksuit bottoms and trainers and stuff. It just doesn't suit me or I don't feel particularly confident in it. I like dresses, but then dresses aren't great on a plane. Jumpsuits. I wore a jumpsuit. They are a bit gross because when you take them off to go to the loo, the loos always seem to be wet in on planes and you're like, oh my gosh, my jumpsuit's in. I don't know what. Is it water? Is it wee? So I don't know what to do. So I'm going to bring you along for packing my bag and then I think we will pack... Um, swimsuits and stuff i am going to leave my dresses to the last minute i think i feel very frazzled this time because i just feel like we've left it a bit last minute because my girl was finishing primary school everything was focused on that so i just got absolute paranoid fear that i was going to forget the kids headphones so i went and found them now you wonky, I'm wonky, my brain's wonky. <laughs> so, I've got my boys' headphones, boops, boopity boops, in, ready, so that just needs his tablet. I've got my girl's headphones, that just needs her tablet. So they are actually ready. I found, um, Popsy sent me this bag, I don't know if you ever used Popsy, they are the, I wear a lot of Popsy jumpsuits. Do you feel like we're like going sailing? Because we say, skew if. Um, they do a lot of jumpsuits which I wear and they sent me a bag so I'm going to take that as a rucksack. Sunflower, man, so pretty. So I'm going to put in wipes, check. Tissues, check. Felt tips, check it, check, check, check. I am actually going to put in another pack of tissues because if we remember rightly, when I went to Iceland, I had the most terrible, terrible runny nose, and we couldn't, we couldn't keep on top of how many tissues one required. So check, and then I'm going to put my. Uh, has it got a laptop bit? It has got. I might put my laptop in side pocket here this is where the laptop is might put my laptop I'm, I'm debating whether to take my laptop or not i'm not sure i always say that and i always end up panicking and go oh just take it just what if something crops up for work i haven't got my laptop so i might put my laptop in as well i've left steven out some wipes and some tissues for his bag um and what i think i'll do now with you for the last little bit is pack my actually pops it up with this as well Ooh. And I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to have an airport bag, but if I'd, I wonder if you could have this as like a fanny pack. I got excited then, but I'd, I'm unsure as if you can. Maybe you can. Am I being like a creative genius? Do people even wear, I know we call them bum bags in England, but I just thought I'd be, I could, do you reckon I could? <gasps> Am I going to be the mum with a bum bag? Are you all screaming at me, don't wear bum bags, they're not cool? Uh, I definitely could. I could be like, do you want a hand sanitizer? Do you want three pounds to go and get a drink? Oh, 
this might be a whole thing guys this might be a vibe um i might do that i don't know why that's excited me so much but i might do that i'll sleep on it and you'll see it on instagram or you won't see it on instagram um, I'm going to pack my swimming costumes. I have decided that this holiday is going to be the holiday of Emma being having lots of swimming costumes. So I've gone through all my bits and bobs. We are going to be taking this was from a Boohoo. This is not a swimming costume one would go down a slide in, but it's a swimming costume one would. Would I like a pina colada? Of course I'd like a pina colada. So I'm going to take that. If you want to see what I look like in them, uh, there is a reel over on Instagram. I'm going to take that one. This is a classic swimming costume that I got last year. This is old ASOS. And this, you can go down a slide in that. Because you have children, you want to know, can I go down a water slide in things? This is one of my favourites. I was just checking that it hasn't got a funny colour. Because sometimes chlorine can send you cosies a bit yellow. And this is a defo. This is very old, but this is a defo down a water slide. This is very old Marks and Spencers, but it is perfection. I could be, I could run a man marathon in that. I mean, technically, I could if I could run more than a few kilometres. And then I'm just going to take a bikini. This bikini is very, very nice. It's this was. Boohoo as well. I did size up. Again, this is on the reel. But it's more like a sports bra with, like, um, granny pants. But this will be a lie around the pool kind of cosy. I've got a... So that's one, two, three, four. Emma, you don't need more than four. Don't be bananas. I've got... I purchased a few new cover-ups. These are from Sheen. So I've got this one, which I thought would look nice with my animal print. You kind of pull it in and it's very pretty. This I got in the size. Sheen size is a bit funny, isn't it? What size did I get you in? Hmm. A 2XL. It's massive. So maybe don't get a 2XL if you don't want it to be. It is ginormous, but you then like do the drawstring so that is nice she'll be taking her with me this is a really pretty one this is like can you see it's almost like a going out dress if you want all of your underwear on show <laughs> um this is black this is sheen and this size was a 1xl one wonders why i was getting different sizes i think i was just thinking please just something just something fit me <laughs> So I'll just get everything, I'll just get different sizes in the vein, hope something fits me. Thankfully they both fit me, but this is really nice. Um, so this will be for around the pool, you know, and all that good, good fun. So I'll take that one as well, she can come with me. And this is an old one which you probably will have seen on my Disney adventures. This is a Target, and this was an XL, um, and this I got. Oh my gosh, a few Target holidays ago I got this because I, I think I went on holiday without a cover-up, bizarrely, but I love it. You know I love an animal print. She's just easy to pop on. So I'm going to fold those up and put them in my little bag. Now, I have got this blue swimming costume as well, and I do like it, but I don't think I like it enough to take with me. So I'm going to pack those now and show you what they all look like and probably put my sunglasses in the same little bag I reckon they can all fit in a small one don't you do you reckon we can get it all in there or is it a bit ambitious right, let's see let's try okay so we didn't put them in one but this has got wraps and my pyjamas and this has got some costumes and I'm going to put my sunglasses in may even be able to squeeze a pair of flip flops in then I've got two big ones to put my dresses in but these dresses some of them have our like they're like double layered as she shows them it's not no that is so these are quite thick and heavy um so I'm hoping I fit them in but you know it's not a today problem 
It's not a now problem. That's a tomorrow, maybe later problem. It's not. A, it's not a now problem. So there we go. Chaotic. Um, that's the end of today's little come back with me panic packing with Emma that's what we did together thank you for keeping me company I'm going to edit this this afternoon so it's ready for you on Wednesday morning tomorrow I have obviously got the kids tomorrow and Tuesday tomorrow um, I'm taking Erin to go and get our nails and I've been having the white nails I think I'm just going to get white again and she's just going to get you know normal nail varnish not a shellac I don't think um, she'll just get normal and I don't even think she wants any nails I think she's going to get it on her toes and then Tuesday, I'm taking um, the kids out with a friend, and we're going to see my parents at Cosford. So, this will be your last video for a couple of, so I'll, I'll probably miss a, so this go Wednesday, so I won't be here on Saturday or Wednesday, but I'll be back on the Saturday after. Does that make sense? You'll just make, make, miss a week of videos, unless the Wi-Fi is amazing, but I don't want to bank on that if it is. I might pop up a bit earlier, who knows? So I love you lots and um, whatever you're doing in the next week. Oh, my phone's going. Um, it will be Stephen going, what am I supposed to get the rats again? Anyway, I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.